Well, as the winter storm moves closer to Kansas City, uh, street crews in Kansas and Missouri are on standby. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel is at City Hall. And Ray, uh, what is Kansas City doing to get ready? They're busy, Cynthia. We are here with Maggie Green. She's with the city. And, you know, Maggie, what's interesting, this is going to be kind of tricky. Talk a little bit about this. Yeah, so with the weird mix of weather we're about to get that's coming our way, um, it, it does make it tricky to pre-treat. If we put salt out too soon, the rain will wash it away. So we are monitoring the weather very, very closely today. We've got crews on st standby ready to go out and salt the roadways. As soon as temps start to drop, about an hour before the rain starts to turn to ice, we're going to be out there salting the roadways. And crews are already in their shifts and everything like that or yeah so we started our split shifts today so we have um, you know a day shift today prepping the trucks making sure the plows are on and ready to go um, we'll be working overnight as well tonight and then residential crews will come in in the morning as well as um, another round of shift for the arterial routes tomorrow all day anything else you want to add to the viewers at home or any drivers that may be you know driving on on the city streets um, you know, please do give us plenty of room to uh, to work, to clear the roads, to salt this evening. Um, I, I, we're hoping we're going to luck out so that the bulk of the ice won't start until after everyone's home for the evening, avoiding the commute time. Um, but please do try not to drive um, during, you know, during the heat of the storm if you can avoid it. Um, and please leave plenty of room for our crews to work. Great, Maggie, thank you so much. Now, there is a job fair, a waste management, I believe, that's supposed to be happening tomorrow because of this weather that's happening that's actually been pushed back to later in the beginning of February. So be sure to look out for that. We'll have that on our website. Reporting live in Kansas City, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News. All right, Ray, thank you. Ride KC is warning passengers that this winter storm could impact service tonight and Saturday. If temperatures drop lower than 10 degrees, a warming bus will be available at 10th and Main so customers can get out of the cold and have a warm place to wait for their bus. And there are several places around the metro you can go to stay warm. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services has this map with all of the locations. Several public libraries and YMCA's are warming centers. 